and put your hands together and give him a hand of clap of praise because this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. You know the word says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yeah. I had a pastor that used to tell me that he's gooder than good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's just give him my worship leader tonight and I want to thank Laurel Hill for inviting me to participate in your second night of revival we, we got the, the Pastor Fells from Mount Garland is with us and we got the Mount Garland choir and we're just excited to be in the house you know it's good to wake up every morning and know that you got a God on your side I wake up happy every morning, and I thank God for just waking me up every morning. You know, there's, there's, there's a song that says, Spirit of the Living God. It, it says, fall on me. It, it, it says, break me. It says, melt me. Mold me. Fill me. And you know, as Christian folk, we sometimes leap the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Because we pour out so much yeah. during the week and the months yeah. and the years. Yeah. So we need to get rejuvenated and regenerated and refreshed and revived. Yeah. So what better time is it to get to be in revival? Hallelujah. Can somebody say amen? Yeah. Amen. We need to be revived again. Hallelujah. We're going to ask you to stand as the choir give us our opening selection. Lord God, for a brand new day. Yes, yes, yes. A day that you have made, a day that we can rejoice and be glad. Yes, yes. Lord God, you made provisions throughout this day, and yes. we're so grateful, and we say thank you. thank you. We know that it's only by your grace that yes. we were able to come together tonight, and we say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord God, we thank you for those who have come just to be revived tonight. Yes. Lord, to hear a word from on high. Lord God, we thank you for your traveling mercy to get to your house of worship. Yes. Now, Lord God, we pray as we begin this hour of worship 
that your Holy Spirit will rain down on us. Yes. That your Shekinah glory will show up in this place. Yes. Lord God, anoint us afresh. Rekindle our souls and revive us again. Yes. For it is in your, your name that we do pray. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on and just give him another hand. Yes. Have a praise. We're just glad to be in worship this morning. This afternoon.
may be, we always know that you're there. Yes. And Lord, we pray that this mother be for the upcoming of your kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Come on, come on. We, we can do a whole lot better than that. In fact, let's just give him a standing ovation. Come on, if you know God is good, if you know God is kind, if you know God is merciful, come on, put your hands together and somebody shout hallelujah. Shout glory. Pastor Phil, yes, sir. and thank you for allowing your wife, Sister Phil. Yeah. Oh, 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 he, he, oh, he rented her to me for. <laughs> well, thank you for the rent. <laughs> that was a good rent. <laughs> yes, I'll pay that rent any day. Yes, yeah, she can carry her service. I'm here to tell you now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, he is. Y'all give our worship leader a hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, now, last night we had um, we had Canton spirituals all the way from Mississippi, and they tricked me again tonight. I didn't know whether to call them Georgia Mass Choir or or, or, or Jane Cleveland and the Southern California Community Choir. <laughs> I love that old music. Yeah. I love that old music. Yeah. I was raised on that stuff. Yeah, and when you when when you hear something you were raised on it, you just can't keep still. Do I have just two witnesses in the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So y'all y'all give Pastor Fells a hand. Show him some love. Yeah. Let me shake my hand up. And then we must uh, uh, show some love to Pastor Coppola and their yeah, sister. Yeah, the only, the only Sister Coppola. Never be another. Y'all hear that? <laughs> Don't even try. It's going to be some change if I find somebody trying that. I'm not having it. I'm not. God is good. God is good. Good to see all of you, friends. Amen. Amen. God is so good. God is so good. Let's let's go this way. Dear Lord, we thank you tonight for your grace and your mercy. We thank you because had it not been for you who was on our side, we wouldn't have what we have. We would not know what we know. Wouldn't be where we are. It wasn't any good thing that we've done to deserve this day. God, it was only by your grace yes. and your mercy. Right. Oh, God, so many times we've come short of that glory. Yes. But we thank you for your thank grace. You. Thank, you, folks. thank you for your mercy. Yes. When we should have been dead and in our grave, uh -huh. you made the death angel behave yes. himself. And, and, Lord, you allowed our golden moments to roll off yeah. a little while longer. And we're here to tell you, thank you. Thank you. God, it's another day's journey. Yes, sir. And we're glad about it. Yeah. Oh, God, we've had some trials in this day. Uh -huh. But because of you, we are now victorious. Oh, God, we can do all things through you, God, because you give us strength. We want to tell you thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for eyes to see. Thank you for hands to clap. Thank you for feet to legs to walk. Thank you, God, for mouth to shout hallelujah, to sing your praise, to lift up your name. Yes, sir. We bless your name. We bless your name. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. Yes. These and all other blessings, Lord, we ask that you would let self decrease. Oh, yes. That you may increase. Yes. We give your name all praise, all the honor, and all of the glory. In Jesus' precious name, let everybody say amen. Amen. Let's say amen again. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Just Amen. one more time. Amen. Isn't the Lord good? Yes, he is. Come on, don't fool me now. Isn't he good? Yes, sir. <laughs> Everybody happy tonight? Yes. Oh, boy, yes. Look, yes. Anybody happy tonight? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, if you're happy yes. and you know it, say amen. Yes. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Yes. Amen, amen. I don't know about you, but I'm I'm happy all day long. Yeah, this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all day long. God is so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard somebody say that, that he's good and good. <laughs> Remind me of one of the old deeds at my former church. This is say, God is good than good. Yeah, yeah, kind of make you think about that. Yeah, yeah, he's good when when you think he's not good. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you know when when it's raining in your in your life, yeah, he's still good. He's still good. He's still God. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't gone anywhere. When you think God is uh, is gone, you need to check who moved. God is still right where he was. <laughs> oh, I know that's right. I know that's right. I know that's right. I just, I thank God for our ushers. Amen. You know, they have to put up with all of us. Yeah, the young and the restless. <laughs> Those who are searching for tomorrow. Those who are living on the edge of night. <laughs> and those who just come from General Hospital. Yeah, they got to deal with all of that. And stand up and smile and say, you welcome in the presence of the Lord. Tell you the truth, we come in here all kinds of ways. But thank God when you come in here, you can leave it at the feet of Jesus. James says, James says, cast all your care upon him because he careth for you. Anybody know that the Lord cares for you? Come on, you got to know that. You got to know that the Lord cares for you. Amen. 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 Been coming to church for years. You got to know that. Amen. Amen. I seen a brother come in church tonight on a cane, just barely making it. I said, man. <laughs> if those of us who could run get that message, we can church would be packed out. Packed out. Anytime the doors are open, you people should be coming in. Right. Yeah, to praise the Lord. Right. Yeah, yeah, to praise the Lord. Yeah. I mean, it's all right to look at uh, social media. Social media, I see you. Facebook, YouTube, thank y'all for watching. But some of y'all that live around here, y'all could have been right in here. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible says forsake not the assembly of yourselves together. What's the difference, preacher? Thank you for asking. <laughs> when you come together, that's when people magnify the Lord together. And God's presence is all in the house. God's presence is all in the house. When you come in, I can hear a testimony how God has blessed that brother, how God has blessed that sister. I could be going through the same thing. And if God did it for them, he'll do it for me. There is no secret what God can do. What is done for others. Uh, he'll do it for you. Do I have just two witnesses here? Amen. 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 So I give honor to Amen. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all the grams. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, choir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, that, you got to give a drum or something. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, excited about what you're doing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody don't have to beg nobody to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. God, you ought to be at begging somebody to let me do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, God. Yes, God. Amen. I know 
all these empty pews up front filled with angels, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bomb you. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I used to be one that just come in, sit in the back, sit in the back, sit in the back. I don't know. I don't know what it is about people that come in and just sit in the back. I'm not bothering y'all. I'm just grateful y'all are here. So that's why I have to come down and walk and, and get next to you to see, to see, to see, to see who you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just for a few minutes. Let us go. To Psalms 1. We've been in Psalms 1 uh, since Sunday. And uh, uh, Psalms 1, Psalms 1, and uh, Psalms 1, when you have found it, please let me know by resting on your feet. Psalms 1, Psalms 1, Psalms 1. Now those uh, of you who are of Lower Hill, uh, we've been going over this every night, every night, every night. This is the second watch of the revival. We went Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Now, uh, y'all should be learning this, recite this. That's how you learn it. That's how you learn it. I learned by repetition. So every chance I get, I, I, I have to uh, uh, mutter, I have to meditate, talk to myself, and I do answer myself. Yeah. <laughs> Some people tell me, oh, as long as you don't answer, baby, hold it right there, I do answer me. Yeah, because I'm talking about what God is talking about. So I have a conversation. Yeah, sometimes it's good to talk to yourself. Yeah, myself encourage me sometimes when people won't encourage me. Yeah, myself say self. I say, huh? Uh, 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 uh. Don't you let them hope turn you around. I say, thank you, self. And I keep right on pushing. Yeah, yeah. Don't let nothing and nobody steal your joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. And the world can't take it away. Yeah, somebody, sometimes self is already nobody's self remind me. I said, honey, you said, where'd you get it from? I said, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, then I'm good for the rest of the day. I keep on, I keep on, I keep on, I keep on. I, you that's, you got to keep yourself with the Lord. Yeah, yeah, because the enemy desires to sift you as wheat, but you got to know that Jesus prayed for you. Yeah, yeah. Psalms 1, Psalms 1. Those who have been listening, come on, say it with me. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree Planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish, shall perish. Before you take your seats, I just want you to, to turn and get your neighbor, get your neighbor. I'm one of them country boys that love it, was raised to talk to our neighbors. Amen. Get your neighbor or you can get all of uh, uh, a mineral on lockdown. Yeah, get one big, big family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at your neighbor and smile. Yeah, yeah. Now what I need you to do is just say say one encouraging thing to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor something good. Amen. 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 Ah, 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 ah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I want you to talk to your neighbor, repeat it after me. Oh. Say, neighbor, neighbor, oh neighbor. Oh, neighbor. How are you, neighbor? How are you, neighbor? It's sure good to see you tonight. It's sure good to see you. You know, neighbor. You know, neighbor. Ever since, ever since Jesus, Jesus has entered, has entered my life, my life, neighbor, neighbor. I'm just like a tree, just like a tree. planted, planted by. by of water. Neighbor, neighbor, I'm learning, I'm learning every, day every day how to trust God and stay calm. What about you? What about you? Oh, one more thing, neighbor. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. Give the Lord some praise. Give the Lord some praise. Praise him in the house. Hug your neighbor, tell your neighbor you love him. Amen. 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 Yeah, God is good. All right. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Bless you, dear. Yeah. 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 I like them names that just go way up north and get a hug. <laughs> yeah. Going all the way to New York and get a hug. <laughs> I tell them, go to Texas, I don't care. Yeah, going on south somewhere, get a hug. Yeah, yeah, going in the backyard, get your hug. Yeah, just hug on somebody because the love of God runs from heart to heart and from breast to breast. Yeah, yeah, time out for can I can't praise the Lord with you because you ain't from our kind of church. Wrong answer. Doesn't matter what church you're from as long as Jesus you stand for. Oh, I wish I had just two witnesses in the house. <laughs> yes, God. Yes, God. He's not coming for no denomination. He's coming for the people in the house. We are the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Greek word is ecclesia, the ones called out of darkness into the marvelous light. And Peter says that we should show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness and placed us into the marvelous light of the gospel. Yeah, yeah. This is just the church house. We get caught up in the building. We are the church, the body of Christ. We are his eyes. We are his legs. We are his feet. We are his hands. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you rope yourself in. He ain't coming for them glad rags. <laughs> He's coming for the one in the rags. Doesn't matter what kind of church you rope in. Up on the church ground. He's not coming for that. He's coming for the one in the chariot. Do I have just two witnesses in the house? Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, God, I love what I do. <laughs> yeah, I tell people all over the world, if I got to say it a hundred times, grandmama said, baby, if you don't love what you're doing, get you some new business. <laughs> I try to figure out what you're talking about. Time for, out for begging people to praise the Lord you say you in love with. If you say you love the Lord, nobody ought to beg you to come to church. Nobody ought to beg you to sing a song. Nobody ought to beg you to read a scripture. Nobody ought to beg you to preach a sermon. You know, we got preachers. I, I, I've had some preachers. I ain't calling no name, but preachers want to know how many members you got. I said, you know what? God bless you. I think I got the wrong number. Click. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many members. You get a chance to save one soul. That's what Jesus did. Many times he ministered to thousands. And then there were times he did one-on-one -on -one consolation. Do I have any witnesses in the house? Now, in fact, when you're driving on your job, or you just sitting at the home, just you and the Lord, God is working on you right there. So don't tell me how many members you got. All right. Amen. He didn't call you to worry about how many members. He called you to preach. That's right. That's right. There was one man who was preaching to some trees. That's right. Down in the wilderness. 
And then God sent the people down there. And when he looked up, he said, oh, generation of vipers. You know, vipers are snakes. Yeah. <laughs> he said, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Yeah. You've just got to preach of God tell you to preach it, preach it. If he tell you to teach it, don't worry about who's not here. Teach the word. That's right. That's right. <laughs> trying to get to my text. Uh, Psalms. You know, Psalms. David here, this, this Psalm is a tribute to David. And David is showing a contrast between the godly and the ungodly. Yeah, y'all know who the ungodly is. <laughs> yeah, I gotta remind you of somebody. Yeah, before Christ, BC, and uh, AC, after Christ, it reminds me of me. Yeah, the ungodly just did all kinds of stuff. Yeah, even went to church. You know, there's some ungodly people who love to go to church. All right. Yeah, they love to flirt with the Holy Ghost, but they don't want to give totally in. Well, when we was going to church and Daddy and them was praying for us, well, we loved the music. We loved to hear Daddy preach and get in that rhythm. I'm like, man, I like that, but uh, uh, I see y'all. I got to go with Hang out a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm Anybody ever been there? Right. No, no, not this church. The one down the road a ways. Come on, come on. Uh, uh, uh. You know, you go do some stuff. You know, you go to a place they call Rosie's. I don't know if they had Rosie's. Oh, my God. I was struck a note. Uh, 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 uh. You, you know, and they, they be out there trying to get... I don't know, instead of giving the God the tithes, they take them to Rosie's and say, if I hit, I'm going to bless the church. No, you're not. If you don't bless the Lord with a little bit, don't tell me you're going to bless the Lord with a whole lot. <laughs> God don't need Rosie's money. He needs your heart. He doesn't need your money. He needs your obedience. Bring you all the tithes yeah. and the offerings. Yeah. All right. Not just the money, but the offerings, the, the clothes, the food, whatever, to the storehouse. Yeah. That there may be meat in my house yeah. where we're right. settled up. And prove me now yeah. and see if I won't open to you the windows of heaven and pour you out of blessing. You won't have room to receive. <laughs> Every time God bless you, you just got to bless somebody else. All right. yeah, yeah, Peter and them, Peter and them was on the ship one day, doctor, and they was fishing and, and they couldn't find no fish. And then Jesus on the shore said, children, have you any meat? No, we got no meat. Uh, said, Cast your net on the right side. Well, wait, 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 wait. That don't make sense. We on the left side. The right side is only about five or six feet. That's right. We a fisherman. He a carpenter. What he know about fishing? Well, if you really know who he was, you know that he created the fish in the sea. And all you got to do is listen to what he says and obey him. And when they took their nets up out of the left side and put it on the right side, fish from everywhere. Sometimes you're so close but yet so far. You just got to do it God's way. God don't need your gambling money. He needs your faith. When you give God what rightfully belongs to him, then that's when he'll open up the windows. He'll pour you out a blessing. You won't have room to it. Do I have just two people? Know that when you give to God, he'll give back to you. Shout hallelujah. I don't know who that was for, but that was for free. Uh, 
David, he shows the contrast, the difference. And the word blessed, blessed, y'all know it means happy. That's right. It means happy. Yep. There, there are a lot of people who are searching for happiness. But they're searching in all the wrong places. Sometimes we used to say it like it's looking for love in all the wrong places. Yeah, 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 yeah. Money, money can only bring you temporary happiness. And do I have any witnesses? And as long as you got money, you happy. But let that money start acting funny. Oh, that Holy Ghost ain't what it used to be. You ain't going to church no more. You mad with everybody. You talking about God's what's good. I, I, he, he, uh, no, no, no. I need some money. I, I can't operate without no money. Yes, you can. You can lean on the Lord. And he will provide your every need. The Apostle Paul says, my God shall supply. Not some, but all of our needs. My needs, your needs, according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Yeah, yeah. How much faith do you have in God? Yeah. Sometimes when 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 your finances get low, uh, your your faith gets low. Mm -hmm. My my faith is not in the Benjamins. The Lincolns, the Washingtons, the Hamiltons. My faith is not in that money. It's in the God of the money. Yeah. Our world is upside down. All because of the love of money. People have gotten it wrong talking about uh, uh, money is the root of all, all evil. No, nope. the Bible says for the love of money <clears throat> is the root of all evil. Yeah. Yeah, so 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 you gotta be careful. Uh -huh. You gotta be careful. But but those are the ways of the ungodly. Uh -huh. uh, if you notice, it's a downward spiral. Okay. He starts walking. He said, "Blessed is the man that walketh not uh, in the counsel of the ungodly." Oh yeah. I said it again. Uh, I said it before, and I said it again. Uh, uh, believers have no business. Being counseled by ungodly people how to serve God. You're going to church too much. You praising them a little too much. It's not that I'm praising him too much. You ain't praising him enough. Because the word says, I will bless the Lord. At all times. All times mean when I'm waking up. I tell him thank you. Yeah, I don't care if I'm not feeling good. I'm still going to tell him thank you. <laughs> yeah, my head might have a little headache, but my hands are still feeling good. I'm going to give him a hand clap of praise. Lord, I thank you for waking me up. It could have been the other way. You could have allowed me to sleep. You could have allowed me to be in a hospital somewhere. But I thank you that you've given me another day. And every day is a day of thanksgiving. Do I have anybody that's glad that God give you another day to get right what you didn't get right on yourself? He's a good God. And he's worthy to be praised. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. My soul will make her boast in the Lord. So much until the humble will hear the oven be blessed. You need to talk about Jesus. You need to talk about his goodness. You need to talk about his mercy. Talk about his love. And some people will hear that and say, mm, I'd like to know that God that they're talking about. Do I have any witnesses? When was the last time you told somebody about the goodness of your Savior? He's a savior worth having. Do I have any witnesses in the house? Every time I fall down, he picks me up and turns me around, puts my feet on solid ground. He's worth talking about. I ain't talking about nothing.
and in some, I know that he's worth talking about. Yeah, because sometimes I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah, I'll be looking for a chance. <laughs> I'm at the gas pump. They turn their music on me. I reach in my van, crank mine up. What a friend we have. I ain't scared. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Yeah, it is power unto salvation. Sometimes people don't know how they're living. They don't know the goodness of the Lord. And you, you can't be ashamed. You got to tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord. God did not save you that you would hold all of that goodness to yourself. He saved you that you could tell the world. Tell the world. I don't care where you go. Tell somebody. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. That's right. Amen. That's right. Wow. I don't even know how I got there. Mm. Man. Spirit, hey. Spirit. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Anyway, let me let me move on. Oh, I got almost a whole hour. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. I know. I make sure they whip me. <laughs> wow. 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 I love what I do. Now watch. Here it is. It's a down spiral gone from walking uh, to standing. From standing to sitting. And then it takes a turn because of that little coordinating conjunction. But uh, his delight is in the law. Of the Lord, and in His law, does He meditate day and night? You know, I'm glad that God's law is God's word, and God's word is God's law, because sometimes when I'm walking, the enemy is talking, and sometimes situations are not adding up to what God had promised. So I'm not going to let the problems outweigh the promise. I'm not going to let my, 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 my present situation obscure my destination. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm for heaven bound. I'm like, Grandmama, if you don't want to go, get out of my way. <laughs> don't hinder me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love that. I love that tenacity. I'm going, uh, grandmama, grandmama got, got, got sick back, you know, it was just a just a cold or, or a headache or something. That grandmama, you going to church with a cold? No, baby, the cold going with me. That's right. That's right. That's right. Grandma, you going, you, you going to church with a headache? No, baby, headache going with me. That's right. When you get in church, don't even act like they had a headache. Baby, the Lord is good. They didn't have no fancy jams. You know. <laughs> yes, I didn't need no music. Just get in and say how good the Lord has been. Do I have any witnesses in the house? Have you ever been thinking about the goodness and you find yourself clapping your hands and back your feet and smiling? God is that good. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm glad. I'm glad we got His Word because I have nothing to depend on but God's Word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. People are going doing all kinds of stuff and putting Jesus to it. Yeah, but I have nothing when I take a stand. Have nothing to depend on but His Word. Yeah, and if he said he's gonna be with you, you gotta believe that. That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young boy was going to school and didn't have money, but his daddy told him he was gonna stop by the school and 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 take care of the lunch. And he thought he would get to see his dad. And so, uh, he, and he, and other friends knew that he didn't have no money, but he got in line anyway. Yeah, he kept looking back, was looking for a daddy. Um, told 
cafeteria lady says, yeah, I, 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 want, I, want, I want that chicken. And I want some mashed potatoes, you know, with some gravy. And he, I mean, he ordered that thing, but he kept looking because his daddy never failed him, see? And when he got about three people away, uh, some of the guys started laughing at him. They're going to tell him, put that food back. Uh -huh. But he, he kept looking back. And then, when it was his turn to stand before the cash register, yeah. he, he looked at her and she said, oh, uh, uh, you can go because your daddy came and paid for it. <laughs> you may not see him, oh, but he will show up right on time. Sometimes he shows up before time. Do I have any witnesses in the house? Yes, sir. A burning bearer. Yes. A heavy load sheriff. Uh -huh. Watch. And so, uh, David says, His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Be careful what you let come in the eye gate. All right. All right. And the ear gate. Amen. Amen. All right. yeah. Amen. You can't play with the enemy. All right. That's right. He's too much for you. Go ahead. He's too much for me. Yes, but if we honor God and keep our eyes on the Lord, yeah. we'll be able to do it right every time. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Jesus was on, on the water. Jesus was on the water. Jesus had, 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 let me back up. He had sent his disciples across to the other side. Mm -hmm. and, and the winds and the waves always, you know, uh, because of the mountains on either side, of the Sea of Galilee, it was a perfect wind tunnel. Uh -huh. And then every evening, it would start to get windy. Uh -huh. And Jesus sends them to the other side. Mm -hmm. He goes up into the mountains to pray. Mm -hmm. All right. And then he could see his disciples struggling mm -hmm. in the midst of the sea. And so he comes down the mountain. It's about 3 a.m. He's walking on the water, acting as though he's going to pass them by. I don't know if they knew that song passed me night or just to save you or not. <laughs> but I know somebody was and they got afraid. They thought it was a ghost. They never seen it on that wise. And so Jesus said, be not afraid for it is I. Peter says, Lord, if it is uh, the, you then bid me to come. Jesus said one word, come. The text says Peter gets down out of the ship mm -hmm. and he walks towards Jesus on water That's right. like he never done before. Mm -hmm. And the text took a turn when he noticed mm -hmm. the bolsterous winds. Uh -huh. That means he took his eyes off of Jesus. They were blowing all the time. That's why they couldn't get but so far. He noticed the winds while he's walking on the water like Jesus. And beginning to sink, he says, Lord, save me. That's a real quick prayer. You don't have time sometimes to get long. Lord, you know. Oh, you've been good to my father. You've been good to my mother. You ain't got time for that. Just say, Lord, I need you right now. Come on, you ain't got to. Just, Lord, mean it from your heart. Jesus took time, picked him up by his hands, and allowed him to walk again on water back to the ship and said, oh, you did well, but where did you Doubt. Oh, ye of little faith. Yeah. Sometimes we're walking, we're doing good. But when we take our eyes off of the Lord, uh, when, 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 we, when we started noticing how God is allowing our neighbors to prosper, you, the, the, the enemy, David said, I would have fainted unless I failed to believe the goodness of the Lord. Yeah, you can't watch everybody else. 
You can't watch the ungodly. The ungodly is just being ungodly. They're going to have some stuff. That's all they have. But I may not have a whole lot of what they have, but I got Jesus. Anybody got Jesus? That's right. Amen. Yeah. So, uh, it says, and, that third verse, and he shall be like a tree. Go ahead. Planted. Uh-huh. You don't take a tree and just sit it by the water. No. Uh-huh. 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 First little windstorm will come and push that thing all in, in the water. Uh-huh. And she'll go floating downstream somewhere. But he says, he shall be like a tree. Now, let, let, me, let me straighten this out. That word man is all mankind. He's not talking gender. It should be reading uh, and they shall or whoever all right, uh, shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. My daddy taught me another lesson and then I'm going to be out the way. Uh, it says, uh, do you know the difference from a tree that's planted by waters and a plant, a tree that's planted way away from the waters? I said, yeah, they, 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 they both, they both trees. They just, one's not close to the water. He said, no, that is partly right. He says, uh, if you notice, uh, a tree that's that's not planted by waters, way out there, when a storm comes, it can be easily uprooted. Wind can easily push it over. He said, but the one that's planted by the rivers of water, he said, mind you, this is over in the Middle East. Where it's hot all the time. Uh, and, and, and the Bible says, not just plant it, but his leaves also shall not wither. And whatsoever he do, it shall prosper. Now, then he stopped. I, I'm thinking he's going to go on. He said, now, you have to know that we are parallel with trees. Even Jesus is called the tree of life. Y'all remember in the Mark's gospel? Where uh, Jesus prayed for a man and he said, open your eyes. Tell me what you see. I see men walking like trees. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be a lesson from trees. There's five things that tree gives. And then I'll tell you about the tree on the side of the river. First things, trees, we should be doing what the trees doing. Growth. If we're in Christ, we should... We should show growth. Uh-huh. It's impossible for you to be going to church for 10 years in the same. You still ain't in the Bible study. Uh-huh. You still ain't in prayer service. Uh-huh. Oh, right. Suki, I'm in the house. <laughs> You still gossiping about your neighbors? <laughs> no. Oh. You still lying? You still smoking? Wait, 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 wait. Do you not know that your body is the temple of a living God? So you putting a little bit of any and everything in it when you're not at church. Everybody say, help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. They got awful quiet when I got down there. If y'all had shouted me down, I would have kept going. Yeah. 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 Oh, so I get my praise on, give people a chance to think about it. Uh, uh, wow. Now watch, I got, I got a couple of minutes, two minutes, and I'm going to use every. All those two minutes. All right. um, now, it says, 
The tree ought to show growth. And then it needs to show uh, life. We should be showing growth and we should be giving life. Trees give oxygen that we may live. Who are you giving oxygen to that they may live? Jesus is the oxygen that you need to be passing on. You can give somebody an encouraging word. Sometimes it just takes the smile at somebody and say, have a blessed day. It doesn't take much. You, you, you got a right to smile. I don't care if you ain't got but two teeth left in your head. As long as they sitting together, smile, baby. You got that right. Together we stay. Divided we fall. Uh, 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 wow. Wow. Not only that, but a tree uh, gives us provision. Yes, it does. Fruit trees gives us provision. Do you not know that God planted all the trees in the Garden of Eden before he created man? He provided for him before he even put him in there. And so that's what we should be doing is providing for somebody. Life is no more about me, but who's coming after me. Do I have any witnesses in the house? Life ought to be the same way with you. It's really not about me, but because I know who's coming after me, I got to provide for them. Uh, uh, not only is a tree uh, good for provision, but it shows beauty. The beauty trees have beauty. Doesn't care what kind of tree it is, it's created by God, it has natural beauty. And everybody in here, I don't care what color you are, I don't care what nationality you are, you have beauty about you. You were created fearfully and wonderfully created in the image of God. Don't let nobody tell you you ugly. You may act ugly, but I ain't ugly. I remember when we was in school, and it was preaching and teaching evolution, and I got mad because I knew better. I was raised in the church. I was raised that we came from man. We came from God, not monkeys, not apes. I don't care what they say. I went home. I told my mama. I said, that teacher was crazy today. She said, what she say? I said, she said, we came from apes. We ain't come from no apes. She said, you got that right. She said, sometimes you act like it, but you ain't come from no apes. My mom was Native American. When that Indian gets stirred up, oh. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, sir. 18 brothers and sisters, and we had 12 in our family. My God. Yeah, she, she didn't mind. She could fight too, but she loved the Lord. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so, not only uh, did it show beauty, the Bible says, watch this, how beautiful are the feet of them that carry the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, doesn't matter what you look like. Doesn't matter what you don't have. Do you not know that some of the poorest people have so they're so rich because they got Jesus. Oh yeah. Jesus was born a king but died a poor man. They had Joseph had buried him in a borrowed tomb. But he was king of kings, Lord of lords. Last not least, uh, it shows the family of God, the family tree. Mm -hmm. yeah, we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Yeah. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. We may be on different levels, but we are all one body. Yeah. 
Everybody can't be an eye. Everybody can't be a hand. Everybody can't be a foot. But we're all part of the body. And if the hand, if, the, if, if I didn't have my right hand, my body would be incomplete. So I don't care how small you think you are. Don't ever think that you're small. Because you, the smallest is the most important sometimes. When Jesus wanted to bless the people for following him, he says, look you among you and find out what you, we, we need to feed these people, his disciples said. Jesus said, well, you feed them. Well, we can't. He knew they couldn't. Mm -hmm. All right now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sometimes God asks you to do, to let you know where you are. Came up with a little lad, a poor lad's lunch. Mm -hmm. Two fishes. Mm -hmm. All right. Not the same type of fish. Two fishes and five barley loaves. Mm -hmm. And one of his disciples said, what is that among so many people? Mm -hmm. Well, you don't know who's, who's on the scene. <laughs> yeah. Depends on whose hands you put it in. If you put it in my hands, it ain't a whole lot. <laughs> but when you put it in the Lord's hands, uh, he raised it up, blessed it, and gave to his disciples. And, and, and when it was all said and done, 5,000 men, not to mention the women and the children. And after it was all said and done, they had 12 baskets of fragments left over. God can multiply like no other. Now, this tree that's planted, then I'm going to go. This tree that's planted by the rivers. My daddy said, well, the tree, it's grow because the roots seek the moisture from the banks of the river. Uh -huh. And that moisture causes the roots to grow and grow. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, but what happens if it hit a rock? It can't grow no more. He said, uh, come here. The root would hit that rock, and then it would spread, go east and west. And when it finds the end of the rock, it'll go down south again. And then when it gets the, the bottom of that rock, it'll go under the top, and roots will search one another. Yeah. And when they find each other, they will intertwine with it. It's almost like tying a knot. And he says that when the winds of adversity blow, it can only blow it but so far. And then when the storm is over, the sun will shine again and draw that tree right back up where it was before. I said, what's the difference? Ah, he said, it's the rock. And the rock represents Christ in your life and in my life. If we're rooted and we're founded on the rock, if we're anchored in Jesus, the winds will blow us to the left. It will blow us to the right. But when it's over, the Lord will pick us up again. Do I have any witnesses in the house? You ought to shout hallelujah. I once was there, but he picked me up. Yeah. That's what I like. Being rooted like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. Tomorrow we'll talk about the leaves and the fruit. I'm out of time. I'm out of time. Oh, no. Everybody say, oh. Oh. Y'all make me feel like a star. I love what I do. I just love teaching. I, I love it. When they... Mahalia Jackson, she was in London singing for the, the armed forces, and they clapped her back on stage three times. And when she came back the third time, she said, mm, you make me feel like a star. That's why I got that from. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you is my prayer. Let us stand. Let us stand.